Yo, how's it going YouTube? Year One Blink here, back with another new video. Today, we're looking at the TWAB this week at Bungie 7-28, 2022. So this week at Bungie, we're planning a raid date night. Happy solstice everyone, bonfire is lit, there is a grass in the tower, guardians are donning their new armor and stats to glows with it. With We hope you are enjoying your time in the EAZ this year, we have been tracking your feedback and what you are liking about the event, changes that aren't feeling good, as well as many improvements we would like to see added. Thanks for sharing your feedback, keep it coming. We've got a busy TWAP plan for you today. As promised, we will be going over the launch date for the next raid and also talking over some matchmaking changes rolling out in Season 18 and Season 19. Raid the date. Coming in Season 18 will be the second go at our bringing a raid out of Destiny Content Vault. And this time it's going to be redacted. Sorry, we're saving the reveal of which raid is coming to destiny 2 for our destiny 2 showcase on august 23rd but we wanted to make sure you had time to make arrangements necessary to to be ready on day one so request off work hire a babysitter but don't skip school please your education is important raid goes live 10 a.m pacific august 26 2022 well i need to find a raid squad <laughs> because this will be a raid that many of you are already somewhat familiar with we will uh be changing up the world's first race a bit similar how we did it with the volta glass here's what to expect you guys can uh look at the raid stuff right there i'll go kind of slow so you guys can read it you can pause it if you want but that's how they're gonna do it so i want to look at this matchmaking thing making matches starting in season 18 we'll be introducing some changes in how we how we play matchmaker in the crucible this will be the first iteration that is part of the larger plan going through through season 19 our world system teams are leading the charge on this transition and we are here with a big info dump to what to expect let's talk about skill and connection we know this has been discussed with a lot of passion and goodwill in many places of the community and inside bungie so we're going to give you a clear tldr before we get deeper into how and why we're striving towards a goal that all players introduce, including new lights, can enter the Crucible regularly, get matches where they can feel competitive and have reasonable chance of winning and competing. Making ma fair matches using skill-based matchmaking is going to be important to help meet the goal. We are starting by implementing loose skill-based matchmaking control playlists at the start of Season 18. Loose SBMM has a wider starting skill similar to survival and should result in the mat matching with a wider variety of players while also eliminating some of the frustrations we see in, the, in our current system. Expect Loose SBMM to expand to other playlists in the future seasons as we tune the consider the high quality match by gathering real data feedback from you. We are not planning to add it, add it to every match made crystal playlist. We will continue tuning until we are at a good place we will report tuning updates regularly we will be implementing a form of fire team size preferred matchmaking in season 17 season 19 a lot of what follows is pretty in depth feel free to skip the tuning section below if you aren't interested in the details just want a high level view of what we will be experiencing we developed some goals we We'll be working over the next few seasons. All players, including New Lights, can enter Crucible regularly, get matches where they can feel competitive. All players, whether solo or a fire team, can find a place in the Crucible where they can play a variety of matches and have a reasonable chance of winning and competing. We are defining reasonable expected win rate between 40 to 60% for most matches. Players are rewarded based on their skill and proud of their skill. Reserve place for players who do not want to engage in skill system. Generally speaking, any matchmaking in the competitive multiplayer game tries to put together high quality matches. We'll consider these three things in assembling high quality match. There are two types of connections that are important. Connection to the game server, connection to all players in the match. Generally bad connection to other, to other players have a larger effect in the Crucible than connection to the game servers. So we talk about connection quality in Crucible, we're talking about connection from player to player. Lower quality matches result in jerky movement by other players 
missed shots or getting unexpectedly damaged or killed. When fire teams are spread across the globe, we pick single players latency and speed up for finding matches. Match fairness. Ideally, all players in the match have reasonable chance to win the match, have a similar skill. Matchmaking speed. We'll, we'll always consider matchmaking speed as the key element. No one wants to wait 10 minutes between matches, no matter how perfect they end up being. So, looks like they're bringing back some some like a little bit of skill based matchmaking when matchmaking we must balance these three elements if you want a lower matchmaking speed we're going to we're either going to need matches that are less fair or matches with lower connection quality we'll continue tuning to find the best possible balance throughout the top we'll be using the term skill and destiny the term refers to rate of all players who participate in pvp on scale to 2000 player skill is reflected in the graph that looks like this internally skills a combination of stats make up for your for your performance kills deaths captures round wins revives dunks that ranks you against all other players in the match each player's skills compared against the skill of the other players in the match and we make the skill adjustments for all players at the end of the match where the two rankings differ. There is also a confidence rating. The more games and system has seen you in recently, the more confident the kill adjustment is. In addition, the stats mentioned above skill encompasses all sorts of things. Your reaction times, agility, how to approach fights, how well you know the map and mode, how well you know the character, how to build your character, the weapons, armor, mods, all that stuff. You won't actually see the skill value in game while we are currently only using it to try to get fair matches and survival and elimination. We still track it for all modes including Gambit. This gives you a reasonable starting spot for games like Rift and Zone Control. Now how do these skill numbers actually plow in the game? Here's a good shorthand we use internally. If someone is 200 skill above you, you can definitely tell that they are better than you and they will win 75% engagements against you. The opposite is true if someone is 200 or more below you. By the time you get a difference of 400, better players are going to have a 90% win of all engagements. And lower skilled players need to get extremely lucky, lucky to pull off a win. Once you get a difference of 600, there is basically zero chance for the lower skilled, skilled player to ever win a 1v1 conflict. A, ga a game should be fairer and closer. You get the same skill. This is our goal. The problem space. As we started looking at a competitive landscape for Destiny, we noted a few things. Outside survival and elimination, the ability to influence your team wins or loses usually out of your personal control if you average if your average skill or below half the population. This can feel bad as much outcome feels essentially random. If you don't feel motivated to try to win, this has contributed to Definicing winning and a requirement to gain crucible rewards. You guys can look at all this stuff. Wide disparity skills also ex excurbate other problematic problems with wide dis disparities in the skill. Trapping a single team in a spawn is significantly easier. With wide disparities in skill, it's more likely to, that most of one team is dead at the same time. Freeing the other side to roam around and look at new targets without having to worry about danger. Oh, okay. Happened to me a few times. Not just joking. <laughs> because these extreme factors, no matter what your skill is, becomes hard to tell if you're improving or not. What was the great play or are they just worse player than me? You might quite reasonably look for other stats to demonstrate how good kills and assists KDA are great but it's also it's still unclear how good your opponents are given that matchmaking is dependent on lots of factors kda in a low population situation can mean a very different thing skill wise than kda is in a normal or high population scenario you can also check third party sites who track elo ranking system originally designed for chess with board impact elo isn't something we track use or validate so it's used at your own risk 
If you can't tell if you're improving, it's hard to be motivated to try to improve. We know we have to do something to solve these problems and more to get to the crucible into a better place. We know we won't be able to address everything in one fell swoop in season 18, but this will be a start of the ongoing process to improve PvP over time. Match balancing. Once we match a group of players into a lobby, assuming we don't have a, a full fire teams, we try to split them up into balanced teams. If the player skills are somewhat random, the system has a tough time. We've tried several different algorithms here to mix results. For the time being, we are hoping to re reducing the skill variability in any given lobby will make this easier. Skills based matchmaking and control. This is what I play a lot, to be honest. So this is this is a big one for me. At the start of season 18, we're going to start turning match fairness back up to control. And only control in the crucible. We want to we want to start slowly to limit the number of playlists we consider when tuning matchmaking with hundreds of thousands of people. We can do the same testing, but nothing can fully simulate how the full population will be affected by these changes before we ship. We're going to be live tuning the matchmaking parameters over the next few weeks until the land until we land on something that provides better balance between fairness, equality, and speed. We will not be touching any other crucible playlist during season 18. Charles has no planned changes in the crucible matchmaking. Elimination Glory will still use the same SBMM that they've been using. Everything else will still use this connection-based matchmaking they've been using for years. We are currently planning to make further adjustments in Season 19 based on the goals listed above, but rest assured any major changes will be communicated in either a TWAB or a blog post, as well as a patch notes. Connection-based matchmaking. First, we want to identify the pool of available players with good connection to you. Within the pool, we choose players with the very best connections. We can't find players within that pool. We widen the variance of connection. We repeat until we find enough players. Then we break out into an equally skilled teams. The latency we measure is to find good match does not take into account the fire team with desperate connection speeds. We only measure latency for one of the players in the fire team. So if you are in Tokyo, and you are a fire team with someone in New York and someone else's Jonesburg, you are you are in for some laggy crucible matches no matter what lobby you join. Skill-based matchmaking, better known as skill-based matchmaking, uses a similar model to connection-based matchmaking. It is addition late in addition to latency. SBM uses skill similarity when asking to join a lobby. Like latency, acceptable skill similarities expand over time. First, we identify the pool of available players with good connection. You guys can read through that. You guys can see loose SBM. This is what they're going to be adding. Our initial version of loose SBM for uh, for the control playlist is going to work a little differently. It starts with wider acceptable skill variance and then expands very slowly on both acceptable skill and connection quality at the same time. The goal statement for this new loose SBM is the start of the broad definition of fairness, compromise, matchmaking speed in order to keep match fairness and connection quality high. We expect overall matchmaking times to go up, more so if you and your fire team either ran the skill curve depending on the current population in your region. However, we are ho hopping off the trade-off matches that aren't super sweaty or lopsided blowouts. We will be worth it. We have an analytics to set up the review overall matchmaking data each hour, especially critical over opening weeks for this new season, and we'll be monitoring adjusting timings and thresholds above while we try the home in on the good settings, control generating nice high population playlist, so we will be able to get good test bed for tuning like this. What are we going to be looking as we tune? Minimize players who cannot find a match in 10 minutes with a goal to keep the average under 2 minutes and under 4 minutes for 95% of the players. Mercy games. Right now, mercy rates vary, vary based on the map as low as 5% to as high as 25%. We believe the number of mercy games should be under 5% on all maps, but not actually hit 0. Final score differential. The general game should be closer in score. Right now, 65% of the matches and and with one team hitting the score target, 15% going to time and 
percent ending with mercy. Our goal is to have 80 percent end with one team reaching the score target, and most of the most of the rest ending with that time limit. You are looking for most matches to have under 10 minutes point difference between the two teams. Less variance between top player and bottom player. Right now, five to ten percent of the matches have the best player scoring. 39, 30 to 39 more kills than the worst player in the match. 50% of the matches have the best player getting 20 to 29 more kills. We believe that 90% of the matches should be less than 20 kills difference between the best and worst players. And 50% should have no more than 10 kill difference. That's crazy. They're going to just... They're going to even out everything. Skill distribution. As we discussed, skill section, player skill and destiny in most games tends to follow the bell curve centered around skill 100. It means half of the players are clustered between negative 100 and 300 skill. And just 1% above 800 and lower than five, negative 550. When you do skill-based matchmaking with skill windows, what ends up happening is players either end up in the bell curve fewer potential players match against and thus potentially take longer to find a match in good connection. This is one of the reasons we start to wider the skill threshold and expand more slowly to make sure we go through all the available players. Like we said, we expect this to cause longer matchmaking times initially, but it's important to note that we are going to be looking at an outlier skill thresholds and tuning them to experience tuning the experience for them. It's no mystery that full fire teams often stomp six solo players who match against them. Fire teams that are used to be playing together may also be in voice chat with each other, allowing them to communicate more effectively than those who are not. Oddly enough, if we look at the average skill for solo players, it fits the bell curve from above clearly. We look at the average skill for full fire teams in control so we can see the bell curve centers around 400 and 500 so not only do the fire teams have communication advantage but they also have decisive skill advantage the big question is are high skill players more inclined to play in fire teams or do regular fire teams make your skill go up either way we will be implementing a form of fire team size preferred match matching in season 19 we will be sharing details about how it works and release our goal is to be utilized like skill sometimes as a strict requirement sometimes as a loose one or sometimes used at all not used at all further it will allow us to eventually replicate the benefits of playing in freelance playlists without having a split population this is our current plan going forward we keep you updated as we tune settings in season 18 votes are in last week we revealed the three maps would be voted by the community to determine this week's trials map I voted for Eternity. This is I'm just letting you guys know. So let's go, baby. Eternity's Widow's Court and Rusted Lands were all in the ballot, but only one could be the winner. Eternity, the community picked the map from trials this weekend. This is this one was close with Widow's Court and Rusted Lands coming within one percent of each other, but Eternity pulled away with 39 percent of the vote. That wasn't close. What wasn't close was our challenge to the community to tally up 77,000 votes within 40 hours. Y'all com completely decimated that goal and have unlocked the special new emblem for everyone through Bungie Rewards. Players can pick up the emblem starting next week after reset August 2nd. So there's your new emblem. I, I did a video on that, so go check it out if you guys want to get an emblem. This is some Prime stuff. I'm not going to go too much into it. There's some uh, some hot fixes here, fixing some some broken stuff. There's the movie of the week, and that's it, guys. If you guys enjoyed this um, twab this week, please make sure you guys subscribe, press the bell notification to stay updated. We're gonna get into some more stuff this week. It's gonna be insane, guys. Make sure you guys, like I said, subscribe, leave a comment, press the bell notification to stay updated, and let me know. I'll see you guys in Lightfall. Peace out, everyone. And hopefully this video helped you stay updated to what's going on in Crucible and the raids and stuff and all that. PvE, PvP, all that stuff. All right, peace out, guys. Later.